Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today in Enlisted Quick Tips for New Players. As you can see, I have started a brand new account on Enlisted and I gotta say um, why I did it. First things first, why I did it. It was very tricky to explain new players how to organize their squads, how to spend their silver, what to research on an account that has everything unlocked and has money so much you couldn't even spend it, right? So now we are on a brand new account and I am absolutely shocked. The brand new players joining Enlisted, starting with 20,000 silver. Let me put this in perspective. Let me put this in perspective. A top tier weapon, probably like tier four, tier five. It, it's not gonna show you the price here, but I can tell you it's like 3,000 and 5,000 silver. So for the starting cash you have, starting off brand new account, you can buy four weapons. And when you start the game, you have three squads, which all together are like 12 or whatever soldiers. If you'd want to kit them out all with new guns, you would just not have enough cash at all. Anyway, we're gonna take this slowly step by step. I'm gonna try and give you the most efficient way of how to spend your first silver, what to research first in the tech trees to make sure you are more competitive um, and it, it goes better for you in games, so you would earn more silver back, uh, therefore making life easier for everyone. And uh, just some things that you'll see for the first time joining the game. So um, first things first, uh, I've switched to Soviets because uh, I already looked at uh, allies, unfortunately. First things first, you're gonna see these uh, green markings everywhere. So what these green markings means, um, if you look at the, these green box, it's like an open box, basically it means that these soldiers have something new in the inventory, well not these guys, has something new in the inventory they can use if you want to. So I'm gonna click on this uh, soldier here that has this boxy uh, icon and you can see this icon tells me to go to the weapon. So we're gonna click on the weapon and uh, we have the Mosin M1907 carbine and it just tells us that we have more. We have more of them. So yeah, we got three more of them in the stock. Sometimes when you get uh, buy a weapon and it has a higher star rating, it comes up as a new weapon as well. So if you go on it, it will disappear. And if this remark was exactly the same for other guys, you can see it has gone away from the others and it has even gone away from this squad. Now, these green marks, what do they mean? I'm gonna start off with this first guy that has three stars. You can see each of these soldiers have their uh, level. So basically the more stars, the better. I think it goes up to five stars, yeah. If you click on this guy uh, that has three stars, you can see the green marking down here on the perks. If you click on the perks, it basically means that you have available perk points and you can dish out some perks for mobility, vitality and weapons. I'm not going to get into the perks for at, at this video because I actually have a perks guide. I'll just pop it on the screen. You can find it on the channel. I'll click on the little eye information card and you'll, you'll find it. Uh, so we're going to leave those uh, as they are right now. So what, what, what I would do if I would have to start enlisted account today. What I would do uh, with the knowledge I obviously have, I would go straight to the allies. That's the first thing. Uh, maybe partially because Germany suffers at the moment a little bit and Americans usually play with Germany so we might get slightly easier games but the next thing, the big thing, every nation as you can see gets their rifleman squad. That This marking here means it's rifleman squad. You can see it up here as well. You get a sniper squad as a second one, and then you get your tank squad, your very, very first tank squad. Now, for for the very early game tanks, this is basically a tank with an auto cannon. This is not gonna go boom. This is gonna go ra ta 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 ta. That's it. This is basically for mowing down infantry and possibly mowing down some lightly armored vehicles. This is for the Germany. For the Soviets, you get the same thing. You get a thingy with an auto cannon. It's not gonna go boom, it's gonna go ra ta 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 with the 20 mil cannon. Now, when it comes down to USA and Japan, things are slightly different. You get this guy for the Japan called Tose. And this is by definition an anti-air, uh, you know, self-propelled tank that is meant to look up in the sky and shoot down planes. 
And if we go to Americans, it's exactly the same. We got the M13, MGMC, and this thing is most certainly meant to shoot down planes. You can obviously shoot at infantry as well, but it is extremely at shooting down planes. And if you can, if there's one little knowledge that I want you to know, in enlisted shooting down planes give you a lot of points a lot of points translates into more experience and at the end of the day it translates into more silver so as a first starting nation for myself to start grinding some sort of income of a silver i would go for us we've got a rifle squad sniper squad and this spaa squad self-propelled anti-air uh, tank squad. Now, it's not all so gray and gloomy for a new player. Here's the battle pass on the right side and you have your daily tasks shown here. If you can see, the first three tasks we can do is finish your first battle, finish your second battle and finish your third battle. You will never ever see these perks ever again in your life. Uh, sorry, these uh, tasks ever because like I didn't even know they exist. And why, they, why the developers have done it, it's because these three um, tasks will grant you two and a half thousand silver, five thousand silver, and ten thousand silver. So after finishing your first three games, you will accumulate seventeen and a half thousand silver in just rewards. In these three rewards, so you can see you're gonna pretty much make as much as you already have at the minute. And obviously, doing the three matches, you will earn from the matches as well. So you're more more than likely double. Uh, the amount of silver you're gonna have. Another thing, if you feel like you're not gonna be a free-to-play player, there is an insanely amazing, like I've never seen an offer like that. It gives me three days to think about it, because I literally just made this account 73% off, and for 2950 gold, you can get four squads. Let me put this in perspective. This is a, a light tank you can get for Soviets. This is a assault air squad you can get for Americans. And this is a rifleman. It goes for Japan, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, it does not go for Japan. It goes for um, whatever. The, uh, Italian squad for Germans. And then the last one is, uh, again, a medic squad for uh, Japanese. And let me put this in perspective. Usually one squad costs three and a half thousand silver here you can get four squads for 3k it's an amazing offer obviously this is going to remain my free-to-play account so i'm not going to look at it but if you consider like ever spending cash on this game this very first offer is mind-blowing now up here you can see premium account is not activated if you don't have premium account activated if you click down here on all of your squads here, you can see we have one, two, three, and that the fourth squad slot is empty because we only have three squads at the moment, but only four slots available. If you do decide to go up here and you do decide to spend cash on the silver and get your premium account, which is gonna grant you plus 100% experience, you like it doubles the experience you gain in a match. Uh, it will give you extra two slots here. Uh, for more squads so you so at the moment we can bring one two three infantry and one vehicle so you need to choose it's going to be a tank or a plane uh, if you want to bring both well you can't do it you have to choose one now at the very beginning of the game I almost would say don't get premium because you're gonna have six squads here and you're gonna have to equip them with guns and grenades and other tools and you really don't have too much silver to do so so we're gonna remain free to play obviously you do whatever you feel like doing um, and in this video we're gonna take out these three squads i'm gonna try and play the m13 hopefully there's gonna be some enemy planes to shoot down i am gonna show my progress after each battle so you will see how much experience i will get how much silver i will get you will see my progress in the tech 3 which i'm gonna talk you through now what are my preferences for a tech 3 order and we'll just see how much cash we can accumulate at the end of the, the three games and how would I spend it so it would help you to progress up in the game. So now the Tech 3 is a very, very confusing place to be at, especially if you see it the first time. And uh, some, of the weapon, some of the weapons come with a squad, some of them don't. So by default, when you open the, um, uh, the Tech 3, I believe it's for every single nation. Yeah, by default, every single nation gets their first assault weapon that comes with the squad. If you look up here, it says weaponry, 
and squad. You can click over to the squad and see what squad you're going to be unlocking with this weapon. So you're going to be unlocking the medic squad. And medics are basically as assaultiers. They can run around with uh, SMGs as well. So basically it's an SMG squad that can heal friendlies, which is really cool. Um, I really like assault squads. They can help you get more kills, get higher scores, and just progress a little bit faster. But there is one class of a squad that I want to say is even more important. And that one is hidden up here. See, we've got one rifle, another rifle. This is the rifle squad that we have currently in the lineup. It is these guys. One, two, three, four, five lads. Yeah, and if we click on here, you can see it's it's just the same five guys that we already have. But if you go on to the next one, you unlock, obviously, the Enfield P14, but also you unlock another squad, which is an engineering, the very first class of engineering. And engineering squads in Enlisted game are extremely important because these guys can build rally beacons, rally points that you can build anywhere on the map closer to the capture zones, which saves you time. You can spawn and you can get closer and faster into the action, basically helping your your team just getting back into the fight quicker and that is extremely important why i wouldn't go for that first because it's thirty-three thousand experience it's gonna take a little while till you unlock it i would probably stick with the m50 reason because i would really hope five thousand i'll probably do in these three games 100 percent sure uh maybe even two games maybe even one who knows and then after you've unlocked this medic squad we will have a chance of getting in in here and we're going to have four squads to rotate around and then as the next unlock i would probably go for the um, engineering squad 100 percent now when you have your first engineering squad unlocked what would what would you do next again i'm going to take this uh, us for an example if we go back to these uh assault uh, weapons you can see the next ones the stenmark 2 and the m3 uh, submachine gun they only unlock weapon they do not unlock any squads because it only the weapon you can see the difference here you can click between these if you're on the reason but these two only gives you the weapon um i would get yeah the medic squad first i would get the engineering squad after and i'll put this engineering squad probably i'll replace the sniper squad because i personally myself really don't find snipers very very useful in enlisted and then after i have this engineering squad i would go for the next uh, smg which is the stand mark ii for me it is a really really good gun and if you will max out your assault here squad then you can give three or four guys this weapon then it's gonna really really help you to grind forward so that would be the order i would do things it might be a bit of a talky head here a lot of talking but there's a lot to cover now i'm gonna jump into my first three games and you'll i'll just show you the end screen see how i did and see how much uh, we can earn with this uh, brand new account we could almost try and maybe cap the last point with the team are the we are capping Nice. Nice. A lot of guys coming from this direction, dude. I guess that's where they're kind of coming. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, that was too easy. Let's go, team. Okay, our first ever enlisted match has ended, and we did not leave. We got 6,500 experience, 696 silver. Oh my god, that is so bad, dude. But the good news is that we've unlocked an assaulter, uh, assaulter squad. Assaulter squad, why did I say it's so weird? So yeah, like that is one thing you can try in your first game. Play as Americans, get into a anti freaking plane thingy and you can see we got 3600 and we get a bonus for the medals and we get bonus this is for the medals 1.3 because you got three medals yeah uh, if you get five then you get 1.5 and then you get the victory bonus which again multiplies your score 
Uh, I would say six and a half thousand research uh, in a top tier game with this, you'll probably get a bit more than that, but still, it is very decent. So what we're going to do now, yeah, now the game, even the game is telling us that this thing is done. We can click on it and we can click, oh, we need to purchase it. Yeah, purchase. And we get the medic squad. Now you can click managing squads here, but if I go back, can I go back? No, okay, it doesn't let me. I'm going to click here. Uh, and you have, you see, we have this empty space and all oh, the game is literally taking me through the tutorial right now. And we can just drag. Do you want me to double click? Can I drag? Yes, I can drag. Okay, cool. Um, and what is it? You can also change your squad order. Oh, okay. So it's just telling me I can change the order. Um, close. Cool. So if we look at our squad lineup right now, we got a new squad, which is the medic squad. These guys. Yeah, looking good, and they can carry an assault weapon, and they have the med, med box that you can drop for your friendlies, and they can carry, uh, and they can just grab med kits and heal themselves. Now, for the next game, obviously, I'm going to focus on playing this M13 as much as I can, because that's, like, literally the easiest way to get a uh, score uh, at low tier. Um, we're going to collect our first finisher, first battle, 2,500. This is what we got left, by the way. The fact that we got 600 and something silver really doesn't mean much because we just bought a squad. Well, we, essentially we bought one of these things that costs 500, but it came with a squad, so we kind of had to buy it. Uh, therefore, the difference comes down to 20,190. Now we're going to collect this reward. It's going to give us um, bonk, two and a half thousand. Yes, we're making pro profits. Oh, there's another reward. So this reward, it says, achieve the military rank private. If you click on your profile, uh, you will see there's like the rank for your uh, profile. And you can see the, the points that you need. And we just won a game. So it gave me uh, one point. So we're a private now. Every single time you're going to uh, get a new rank, you're going to get rewards as well, which is really cool. I'm going to gladly take my 300 silver. And we are at 22,990, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, and then we're gonna get gonna go and do the other two. And as you can see, the next reward is actually pretty easy as well. Um, what we're gonna do before we move on, though, I want to make sure that I'm actually using all the things I want to be using. Like some of these are some some of these guys are. Uh, essentially equipped with smoke nades and they can be useful but at this occasion i'm gonna give this guy an actual grenade and we still have four molotov cocktails so i'm gonna change out the smoke if you just drag and drop oh i already did it uh, and i'm just gonna give some molotov cocktails do we have any mines no we don't have any mines and i'm gonna do the same for these guys this guy has an explosive back nice that can take out tanks Smoke, no thank you. Let's go with Molotov. Explosive. This one doesn't have at all. You can have a Molotov, Smoke, and we're going to change it out. Yeah, and these guys, Snipers, honestly, I really don't care too much because I'll probably not going to be playing these guys at all. Do you have medkits, everyone? Medkits to everyone. Yeah, medkits to everyone. And these guys, they could just chill. Right. That's a game one. That is our profit. Oh, before we do, let's not forget. We don't want to start researching this thing because it automatically went on this. We want to quickly unlock our uh, engineering squad. Uh, seeing that we're going to get about 5,000 experience, I'm going to click here, start research. You can see this moving kind of sparks moved on to this guy. We're probably not going to unlock our engineering squad in this video. Obviously, I'm going to try and do as, as good as I can. Let's start the next match. But uh, but yeah, uh, that would be the order I would go. After we get this um, engineering squad, I'll probably try and get Stan Mark II for my assault tiers and for my medic squads because this weapon is pretty uh, good for low tier. Not even going to be thinking about a tank or plane at the at early stages because we only have four slots. So that is really not too important for us. And it's invasion. Let's go again. I hate the sight, but it's good. It's it's nice weapon. I hate the sight, but I like it. Oh, that's a lot of guys in there. You know what? Come on, just get it, 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 just get it. Just get it. 
See you later, lads. Oh my god, it's gonna be good. Don't throw it away. Oh, reload. Where are you going? He ran away from the grenade so far. Yes, clear. Let's go, team. Let's get it. Some baddies here. I heard a Type 11 LMG somewhere. Behind me. Nice. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure that they'll cap it. I'm pretty sure they'll cap it. We cleared it. We cleared it. Yes, GG team. Good job, good job, good job, good job. So compared to first game, we've done we've done a lot more. A lot more. 1400 silver. With max boosters, with max um, multipliers for the rewards and for the victory. 13,000, that's actually not too bad. But playing the game for the first time, I mean, if you get if you get it like this, then well, good good on you. But I remember myself playing it first time. Trust me. I've got a feeling that I'm bad with guns, but I've got a feeling I might be in lobby with people that have their first three games. Could that be the case? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's see how far we've done the research. We got nineteen five left. So I mean, if you get thirteen thousand per game. Then cool, then cool, then cool, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, there's something I didn't explain to you properly. Uh, when we unlocked this uh, medic squad, it only needed 5,000 experience, but in that game we got like 6,500. So where does the difference from 1.5k goes? It goes up here in the free experience. So now that is up to you if you wish to save it up here and save it enough that you can just go ahead and use it on other levels or if you click on the one you're doing right now uh, I'm just gonna click off it let's say start research so you want to go on this one you're like okay so I'll research this 19k left start research and that button changes to accelerated research if you click on that then it's gonna give your uh, you know saved up free research and you can use it to just add it on to this one uh, and unlock it quicker I think I will prefer for the sake of today just save it up here but uh, you can spend it that really changes very little um, for you honestly right finish the second battle bam 5,000 silver uh, there we go thank you very much and then we got another one kill 12 enemies task completed take that one thank you is that gonna give me anything no yay nay battle pass hey get reward Another thousand. Let's go. Like at low BR, at low levels. Yay, we're up to 30.4. Every single reward matters. Now, in terms of the lineups, I don't think we're really going to change anything unless any of the guys can have an engineer. Three points. Three points. These guys can't have an engineer, but these guys, right. We got three upgrade points and we went to the upgrade tab. To get an engineer, which is this icon here, we have this one. We need to unlock this one. Bonk. And we go for an engineer. Bonk. Ah, <gasps> wait a minute. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters because I don't think we can buy an engineer. Where are you, engineer? Yeah, we can't buy an engineer because we have never researched an engineer as a class. Okay, so that didn't help, but it's good to know that whenever we can, then this squad, this rifleman squad, is going to have... You can see up here it says engineers 0 out of 1, but we don't. We just don't have engineers to enlist right now. So that was a good try to get an engineer, but you know... Uh, we can't. Right, let's go for game number three, because I really want my uh, 10,000 10, reward. Oh, and the next one is going to be easy as well. Spend nine minutes in the game. We're probably going to do it easily. Win one battle. Well, if it goes like this, we might get all of the three rewards uh, right after uh, this game, which is going to be pretty cool. Oh, hi. Got him, boy. Damn, my 
Yes, that's it. That's a GG. We've broken them down finally. Oh, that was a hell of a fight, dude. That was a hell of a fight. Yes, first three games. First three games. Three wins. We've got 3,000, something like 600 every single match, I think. 3,008. So first one was 3.6, then it was like a lot, can't remember, and now 3.8. Thousand of silver. Maximum amount of multipliers, because we're in the first place again. 9,600. So you could probably get your engineering squad... Um, unlocked probably within your first three games if you no we don't need premium account thank you if you don't go for the medic and on top of that if you use your free xp but this is how far we managed to get so we got few rewards for the ranks um oh right i can't collect my ten thousand silver because i don't have yeah, you need to buy Elite Battle Pass, but I'm going to explain how that works in another video. So what is this? So we've we've done three games. We've got 31,755. And if I would want to move on from this, so what, what's the profit in three games? With, with good rewards. It's like 11.7k. Not much, not much, not much. So how would I move forwards? What I would do, I would most certainly try and push this uh, medic squad as far as I can. Oh, that's the wrong button. So we got five uh, points here, upgrade points. I will try and get as many guys as I can on here because they can carry the assault weapons. Now, you see now, we've got two free spaces. If we want to enlist a medic, how much is that gonna cost? 3,000 per soldier. We're going to enlist. Wait, I'm going to think about it. Yeah, we're going to we're going to enlist two more. Bonk 6000 seal air boom. Unarmed. Oh no, they come without guns as well. The next thing what I would like to do, obviously these guys have like no nades or whatever, basic equipment. Luckily we have their Springfields so they can still use those, but I'd like to get these guys can I afford it? I really, I've never done this with such a little amount of money. Where's the shop? Weaponry, assault weapons. Right, we can buy, we can buy M50 Reasoning. You see, the cool thing about the Sten, if we would have got Sten now, we would probably just go with Stens and we, we, we could run them tier 1 and even tier 2 if we wanted to. But where we are where we are. So we're going to buy four of these, which isn't that bad actually. Bonk. Yes, thank you. Go to SWAT squad management. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, no, we're not changing these guys' guns. We're changing these guys' guns. Okay. We're not going to be upgrading guns early game. That's just a waste of money, honestly. Okay. 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 So we got a, a nice uh, medic squad now. Everyone's got their uh, assault weapon, which is pretty cool. Uh, what would be the next thing I would do with my money? Either I would keep playing, or I would supply everyone with my favorite grenade. Either it's a, you know, a fragmentation grenade, either it's a Molotov. Reach tier 2. Reach tier 1. Oh, okay, so you reach tier 1. What do you mean? We are in tier 1. Can I not buy it straight away? Weaponry. Equipment. Yeah, okay, so you can buy, like, grenades and stuff like that. No explosion pack. Okay, that's that's a little bit uh, disappointing. AP mines? AP mines are going to be high. Yeah, AP mines are high. So I would just probably buy some grenades. Give out your guys. Make sure they have some grenades. Unfortunately, you can't get an AP mine yet. And just keep on top of the upgrades. Because um, you can see your, your guys are going to save up early game. They're going to save up these points fairly quickly. You just need to make sure you choose the one you want. Engineers are really good. Radio is really good. Actually, a lot of these decisions are really good. Depends on your play style. But this is how I would start um, enlisted. I would probably start with US. I would say Germany is probably a decent call as well. You get uh, some decent SMGs here as well. But yeah, just for the sake of the M13, literally, that this is the thing that tipped my decision to start with Americans. But 
this is shocking starting with 20 even with all the you know the rewards and everything starting with twenty thousand silver it is mad like if you started today or like last week or this year even i am really really sorry dude i am so sorry but yeah this this is how i i would start my first games in a list thank you so much for watching make sure you uh check around for more of my videos with the quick tips and literally you can probably learn something in every single of my video anyways so i hope i'll see you there sometimes i do stream so I'll see you there as well and uh yeah for now goodbye